I've owned this Model Y now for over two years and 44,000 miles. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, and what I've had to do to maintain my Model Y. I'm also going to share if I regret not getting a performance Model Y. First, we're gonna discuss the interior in the white seats. This is currently a $1,000 option, and I think it's worth it for these three reasons. The first reason being most likely every other car that you've owned has come with a black interior as standard. Now that comes standard on Teslas, but I find this a great way to brighten up your interior for a very reasonable price. For example, it costs $3,880 just to get a light interior on a Porsche Macan. Also, if you were going to look at a BMW X3, for example, it costs... Okay, it's actually a free option from BMW, so my point is no longer valid. Now, the third reason with white seats is on everyone's mind, and that is, can you keep them clean? So after 44,000 miles, in my opinion, I think they look great. There's no creasing, and to clean them, I use the Hydrosilex Interior Cleaner, and this is how it works. It's extremely easy. Since purchasing the Model Y in 2020, this infotainment system has changed drastically and for the better most of the time. For example, a few weeks after I bought the Model Y, a software update opened up more of the battery for usage, giving an additional 10 miles of range. More recently, they have added this feature of a blind spot camera that pops up as you activate your turn signal in the bottom left of the screen, but it would be hard to see at times. So another update let you move this camera tile to a different place on your screen so each driver could adjust it to their liking. And software is where Tesla blows the other car manufacturers out of the water because they are constantly evolving the software with meaningful updates like this. Look at my 2016 Porsche Macan, for example. So it's been six years and we're trapped here. There is nothing I can do to make this infotainment system any better. There's no Apple CarPlay. It does have Bluetooth, but again, it's stuck, there's no updates they can do, and the new Porsche Macan makes this look really outdated, and it can be hard to use this infotainment system at times, and again, that is where Tesla is far, far ahead. Even over companies like VW who are making the ID4, it's very glitchy, and they're having trouble sending the over-the-air updates, and they're really not as meaningful as the Tesla ones are. If you look at a 2018 Tesla Model 3 versus a 2022 Model 3, you can't tell a difference, and this helps with the value of the car over time and keeps owners engaged in their Tesla for years to come. So now let's talk about wear and tear on the interior and a few things I've done to reduce this. One of the very first things I did and what a lot of people shop for are floor mats. Now these are the ones from 3D Mats and these are by far the best. The reason for that is because of the Max Spider technology. So this stuff right here clings to the carpet in your car and does not let the floor mat move. However, unlike Velcro, it will not fray the carpet. So you can see my carpet is in perfect shape under there and clean. It also has a bowl feature here. So if you go snowboarding or something like that and the snow melts off in the car, all of the water stays in here. Now at this point, some of you are probably a little bit skeptical. You're like, why is this guy pushing these floor mats so hard? I do earn a commission from each sale made from these, but you also get a discount. Also, I recently had a company reach out to me offering $4,000 to be featuring their floor mats on the channel. Now I wish I could tell you that that was a thing that happened often, but I've never been offered that much for a single video. And I chose to stick with 3D mats and keep them just as the sole sponsor for floor mats on this channel because this is what I believe in. And people have told me, hey, I've shopped on Amazon, I've bought other cheap floor mats, and they end up buying these in the long run because they fit the best, they last the longest, and they stick the best. I highly recommend this. I know they cost a lot, but you're getting what you pay for, and they do an incredible job covering the entire car. The only real minor issue that I've had with wear and tear on the interior is cracking on the seat right here that you can see. This is very minimal, and I noticed this over about 15,000 miles ago, and it really hasn't changed much since. So you will notice this early on, but it has not gotten worse, so just something to note. As far as my ass goes, I don't have that fat of an ass. 
So maybe if you do have a peach on you, this could get worse. But for me, with a tight size 32 waist, I have not made this worse. Also, I recently just had a daughter. So in order to prevent the backs of these seats getting kicked to absolute death, I've put these suede covers on the back here from Pimp My EV. These will be linked in the description with a discount code. But overall, I mean, the interior has kept up really well. And I'll keep you posted on this over time. I don't ever plan on selling my Model Y. In fact, I plan on getting a Model 3 Performance coming up when they make some changes on it. But the interior is held up really well. They have the durable materials in the high touch areas. Steering wheel still looks brand new. And the infotainment system, like I said, has been updated over time. Also, some of you will notice that I have this carbon fiber dash. Again, that will also be linked in the description. They recently made this matte one, which I've been telling them to make for years, and it just looks incredible because the white one that comes with the white Model Ys has some glare. And personally, as far as glare goes, I've never really had a big issue with it. So I'm not gonna act like, oh, it was a massive issue and this fixed it, but this looks a lot better to me. It finishes the front of the car more and this is an OEM core here. So this is a Tesla piece that they've fit a piece of carbon fiber into. So they do cost a lot, but they actually just reduce the price on them a lot to make them more in an affordable range. But it is a high, high quality piece and something that I highly recommend. Again, Fusion Motorsports, my code saves you $50 there and that'll be linked in the description. But you can see everything is held up really well. This center console, I have this cover on it. I have piano black under here because this is a 2020. The new ones have a much nicer center console and that's why this is rubber and the new ones are also Alcantara. Now, as far as this phone charger goes here, it's a nice feature, but I've noticed it sometimes your phone slides off or the charging doesn't fully click on. So that's been a slight issue for me over time. Time, and I've heard that from other Tesla owners, but just something to note. Additionally, on the interior and the trunk space here, it just is so usable as a daily driver. You lift this up and it literally falls down a foot and a half to where you can store stuff and just keep things safe, whether you're doing a long distance trip or doing some shopping to make it look like your trunk is empty so you don't get robbed. If you live in San Francisco or anywhere in California, you've probably had your windows smashed in. So this can help prevent that and just give you some really good storage, especially even in the front of the car, which I'll show you right now. A little dirty, but again, just more convenience of this car is just having the storage because there's a battery pack underneath and no engine up front. Now on the exterior of the car, the only things that I've added were the performance carbon spoiler from Tesla and the car is also pink right now. The reason it's pink is because we did it for our gender reveal for our daughter. Underneath the pink is Expel Satin Paint Protection Film on the entire car, and I got that done at Dynamic Tint in Tempe, Arizona. Now that's where I recommend you go if you're in Arizona. And also, I've been going there for years and have paid to get my stuff done there. So I highly recommend them. And Tyler has become a good friend of mine just because he's done great work. And the hundreds of you that have gone to him to get paint protection, film, and tint. I've even met some of you and I've had a guy tell me, he said, I went to some other places a little bit cheaper, devastated with the quality of the work. And I ended up going to Tyler anyways to fix it. Because Tyler signs off on all of the work that he does. And if you're not satisfied, he'll take care of you. He'll make it right. I've never heard someone that's gone there and not had a good experience. So that's where I recommend you go in Arizona. But Expel Paint Protection Film is what I covered the entire car with. You can get it done in clear or satin if you want to change the color of your car. And they also have black. You can do different colors. They can basically do anything you want there at that shop. And that's what I've done to the exterior of the car to protect it. Basically, when I saw the Teslas as new, looking at the front bumper, I was like, that's a high impact area and it's gonna get destroyed over time, especially on these Arizona roads. So that's what I've done to the exterior of the car to protect it and preserve it. Now, I'm not gonna say every Tesla owner has to do this. You don't have to do that. Maybe if you're in a rural area or you just don't care that much about the exterior of your car, you're just using this to get from point A to point B and you don't care, then don't get it. But if you want to protect your car over time, you want to keep it really nice, that's what I recommend you do. It's a self-healing film, makes it easier to clean, UV protection. It's really nicely done. And I recommend Dynamic Tint because it's expensive and you want to get it done correctly. The other thing I've done to the exterior of the car, and I've covered this extensively on my channel, is I've added the Unplugged Performance Luxury Coilover Suspension. I've had it for over 25,000 miles now. It's really improved the ride quality while lowering the car to make it look even better. I will have an updated video coming on this shortly on a large adjustment I'm doing with it, so make sure you're subscribed for that. 
Now when you're in the purchasing process of looking at a Model Y, you're going to look at a long range and you're going to look at a performance because those are currently the only two on their website. I do not in any way regret buying a long range Model Y compared to a performance. Now the performance models in my opinion look a lot better. They look really sporty, they're lowered, bigger brakes, bigger wheels, aggressive tires. They look really nice from the factory. So in no way am I disappointed with getting a long range over a performance. Another thing to note with the performance is it has a staggered wheel setup. So you cannot rotate your tires. And if you wanted to do that, you would have to buy separate wheels and make it a square setup. So just one thing to note. Now, despite some build quality issues and then the reports of bad customer service from Tesla, I've had a great experience owning this car. And over the 44,000 miles that I've driven it, it's cost me significantly less than it would have driving a gas powered car. Now, I'm not saying to you that this is more fun than a gas-powered car. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it costs less and outperforms a lot of the gas-powered cars that are equivalent to it. Also, I recently had to get my Porsche Macan serviced, and I had to wait over a month to get in for service. So it's not like Tesla's the only company in the world that can't get you in right away. It happens to a lot of them, but everything that Tesla does gets widely reported and kind of over-exaggerated because a lot of the people who own Teslas were never car enthusiasts previous to owning a Tesla. Tesla is what made them love cars so much. A lot of the time, I think it comes from a good place. I think Tesla enthusiasts enjoy these cars and they want that company to be as good as possible. And they've improved a lot. For example, if you want to have a loaner car through Tesla, what I recommend you do is you let them know that through the app. Be like, I need to have a loaner car. Can we schedule it for when that's possible? And they will do that for you. You just have to ask them. And Porsche was the same way for me. They asked if I needed a loaner vehicle. I said, I'd like to have one. They said, you'd have to wait an extra four days for that. I said, you know what? Never mind. I'll work it out. And they got me an Uber credit. And Tesla actually gave me $200 in Uber credits when I had to get my windshield replaced. And it was great. I was able to use that credit, get all around town to where I needed to go. And I thought they did a nice job taking care of me. Additionally, with this being an electric vehicle, you don't have to go in for oil changes, transmission fluid changes, none of that stuff. Really, the only thing I recommend you do is change your air filters about every 20,000 miles just because they smell, or in my car, they start to smell. I don't know why that is. But other than that, that's something you can do on your own. It takes about 10 minutes and you're back on the road. So when you're dealing with Tesla service, it should be few and far between. You'll rarely have to go into the shop. If you're unsure of which wheel you want to put on your Model Y because of range, this video is going to help you out a lot. You're absolutely going to want to watch that before making a decision. Also, if you want to see the sway bars that I've added to my Model Y, click this video right here. There's plenty of aftermarket options. This is a great one.